Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if you see me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betanga. And this is prayers and the prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You've been family. Of course, you know, I love you so much. May God reward your consistency. May God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I appreciate everybody who have been standing with this ministry. I appreciate you all. I appreciate your love. I appreciate your concern. God has shown me another dimension of love through his people. And I'm very happy. It gives me so much joy. It gives me so much fulfillment. When I see and I've met with people through this medium of the gospel, that we gather to pray, we gather to speak the word, and we gather to fellowship. The Bible says, where two or three are gathered in my name, I will be there. I am always there now. God is always there. If you do not come for us to gather, probably he will not be the way he would have been. If I do not come for us to gather, probably he will not have been the way he is. Hallelujah. So we glorify God for the two of us and for the three of us and for the plus of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being a, an amazing part of my life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, this is a prophetic word I received just now. This is what the Lord told me just now about somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Whenever there is a release of a prophetic word, there is a call for a change. There is a call for direction. There is a call for elevation. Your spirit, man, there is a call for calmness, peace. God's word brings peace. Every time you receive a word that makes you worried, you should question the origin of that word. Why? No matter how the word of God is, if God speaks to you, even if God is angry at you, even if no matter what happens, when God speaks to you, you become so calm. If you are worried about a particular situation, you notice all of a sudden you're so calm about that situation because God has spoken. If you felt so down about a particular solution and then the Lord speaks about you, you become so calm. You haven't received the solution yet, but you are very calm. So God's word brings peace. It brings answers. It brings direction. It brings solution. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I'm praying that this word will bring peace into your spirit and it's going to resonate with you. And this will be your confirmation in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, the Lord says this word is for you. And if you must have watched it this extent, it means God is really talking about you. This particular word is for you. You have been so worried. I take it again. This particular word is for you. You have been so worried and you have been asking yourself so many questions. Now, what have you been worried about? You have been worried about your life in general. You have been worried about your life in general. This is what has been going on in your life. You've been worried and asking yourself, when are you going to do a lot of things about your life? When are you going to be settled? When are you going to have things that will make you a settled person? And then, you know, sometimes when you're just worried and then you look at yourself, it's going to be kind of okay. But when you're worried and then you're looking at people um, who are going ahead of you, you're looking at people who are making it, you feel so disturbed the more. And sometimes the worriedness comes more, especially when it's people who seemingly, in quotes, do not really pray like the way you pray. Seemingly, in quotes, do not really seek the face of God like you do, you know. It brings you to that point whereby you're feeling like, I pray, I, I'm, I'm, I'm honest, I'm like this, I'm like that. 
spirit. Why am I going through this? Why am I going through the delay? Why am I going through this cause in life? It gets to that place of worriness. And then the worst of it all is that sometimes there are people who are going to put your salvation to your face. There are people who will put your God to your face. They're going to talk to you and say, oh, you've been serving God. You've been doing this. And how come your life is just the way it is? Now, honey, God sent me to talk to you. He sent me to give you this particular word. Before I go ahead to give you the word, let me read this particular scripture to you. Psalms 1. The Bible says, I'm reading from the King James Version of the Bible and from verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor that standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law does he meditate day and night. Verse 3 says, And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruits in his season, and his leaf also shall wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but they are like shafts, which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. <laughs> this settles it, Psalms 1, verse 1 to 6. Now, everything that comes to the people you're looking at who are not even doing what you're doing, who are not even serving God, the Lord says it's like shafts. Are we trying to undermine somebody's blessings? No. But God is saying, do not look at that. Look at your own. He says, when the time comes, you're going to flourish. He says, you will flourish like a river that is planted by the, by the water side, like a, like a tree that is planted by the river side. The Lord is about to bless you. And he says, you are not delayed. He says, you are just already in your process and you're almost finishing. You're almost there. Don't give up at this point in time. God sends me to talk to you. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you're the one. The Lord says, if you've been watching this video to this extent, I pray for you. Let peace come to your heart. Let the Lord give you that settlement. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. Look at me. I love you so much. I do. I love you. I really do love you. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.